So in Primavera, we will see how to create reports now. So for that, I am just going for tools and then we can just go for reports. So that's what we have here. So here, like we will be having these reports. Like for example, these are all the reports we already have created. So here we have three groups. So report group, standard PMO reports and also user created reports. So now we will see how to create this report groups. So you can just go for tools and then report groups. And here we can able to click the icon over here and then we can just go for add. Once you add it, you can able to name it. Report group one. Okay. If you want to delete anything, you can just select and you can just go for delete it. Are you sure you want to de delete the selected report group? This can't be undone. Yes. And I am going to delete the report group having reports. We will see what it is. So top level report group which contain reports can't be deleted. Please remove the report and then come back. Before deleting it, you should remove the reports. So we can just go back and we can able to see here these two reports we have. So for that, you can just hold a shift or control, select everything and you can just go for delete it. Okay, now you can't have a delete option for a report groups here. Again, I'm just going for tools, reports, report groups, where you can able to delete the this one. You can just go for delete it or you can able to have a, a rename and then we can able to have it. I deleted. So now we have created one report group of report group one. You can make use of this arrow if you want. So based on that, we will be having. Okay. So the chronology depends on the arrows. So I am going to create some reports and uh, we will be having in this report group. So click the report group and then you can just click the plus icon. So once you click the plus icon, you will be having report wizard. So where you can able to create or modify any reports. So you can create a new report or a report based on the previous screen display. That is activities, WPSS, expenses. To modify a report created by the wizard, go to the report screen and then select the report and click on the wizard button. Then you will be available with these two options. Now we don't have any option as we don't have any report, uh, reports in this report group. We can able to create a new group in this group. So we can able to create a new report in this group. So you can just go for new report. Next. And here you can able to select uh, which uh, area for your report. For example, activities, activity code, assignments, everything we have. And I am just going for EPS project and WPS notebook. This is for notebooks. The topic we have seen before. Otherwise, something else we can choose. So project EPS, I am just going to choose and uh, put next. And here I'm just going to have activities. Okay, only this I am going to have and I'm just going for next and we can able to just uh, go for columns and then group and sort filter over here. Now I'm just going for next. You can name the title of your report and you can just go for next. Your report has been created. Click the run report button to preview and print the report. If you want to preview, you can just go for run report. There you will be having this option. You can directly to printer. You can go for print preview. Now we are going for a print preview. Otherwise, we can also go for email attachment or HTML file or a comma delimited file. Uh, so you can just go for and you can able to save CSV file format delimited. Okay. Otherwise, you can just go for print preview. I'm just going to click OK. If you want to put any note, you can able to click uh, put some notes here and then click OK. Now we have the preview over here. So this is what the uh, project EPS that we have in this Primera P6. So now I'm just going to uh, close. Otherwise, you can able to like uh, print here and you can able to save as PDF. Go for print and you can able to Microsoft print to PDF. You can just go for saving in your uh, documents and later you can able to open and uh, you can able to view all those details. So file name, I'm just going for EPS projects and I'm just going for save.
so report printed now this is what the report that we have created so here we were also having like a header and footer this we can able to modify as well so like this you can able to print the report and you can uh, submit to your client or you can able to make use of it <coughs> see how it looks like if it is like a data entry work it takes time na? so we can just directly create report and we can able to print it everything was uh, looking perfect here we also have a footer if you want anything else you can able to put in the footer okay this is what uh, report and uh, after i'm just going for next and even you can able to save the report in your report groups so i'm just going to save it report was saved as project or eps click ok and then finish now we have one report under this group for that you're supposed to run for the first time you can just go for run report so print preview click ok so we also have tools report batch reports we will see what it is like batch reports so in batch report we also have global and then project so here in global if you want to add you can just go for otherwise we can just go for project so they already have something like project completion report project startup reports project weekly reports so in project completion report they also added so many reports so in project startup reports they also added so many reports so what it means like we can able to run the batch reports so we can directly go for a batch reports and we can able to like run it so for that how we will uh, create you can just go for report batch reports and here in project and i'm just going for click add and you can just go for new project batch report like uh, okay uh, we can just name as new project batch report okay and then you can just go for assigning the reports so we have created only one report so i'm just going to assign it this is like a global then we can't able to add in a like a project then we supposed to create a batch report in global itself close it now i am just going for selecting this report and i am just going to put current project report scope we can able to change the report scope over here in this option and where we can able to select the report groups uh, from here in this option now we can just go for tools report batch reports and here we can able to assign now you can just select and you can able to assign now it is visible because it is like current project so like this we can able to have multiple reports over here and we can able to go for running batch reports close it for example i am just going for click this and then right click and you can just go for batch run we also have batch so in batch we have four option and i am just going for new project batch report that we have created now otherwise i am just going for project completion report this is like previously we have in primavera itself click ok and we can just directly go to printer or we can send it as email attachments or we can just go for html file but there is no option for uh, preview because it is having multiples of reports they don't providing you like a preview option so we can directly go to printer and we can able to save the file and also if you want to modify the uh, report that we have created right click and you can just go for modify or we can able to go for export where you can able to go to exporting to erp dot erp format files otherwise we have tools report and then report wizard so tools we have report wizard you can click the report wizard where you can able to go for modify wizard so modify wizard just go for next we can able to input like more like uh, activities only we have if you want something else activity resources and roles you can have and you can go for next and you can able to next and you can go for next and then now we can able to go for unreport so we will check uh, this modify so this modify it is like uh, this report was originally created by the report wizard if you modify it in report editor then any changes will be lost to the next time you edit it with the report wizard are you sure you want to modify this report in the report editor this will go to report editor actually so actually report editor will be looking like this 
so don't do any changes as we have default things if you want any changes also here you can able to do this is similar to the uh, microsoft uh, access so it looks like that so if you know that kind of things you can able to do otherwise don't do it i'm just going to close it would you like to save the changes no so we will be having the default report we will go for another report creation i'm just going for plus new report and here i'm just going for organizational breakdown structure next and uh, in organizational breakdown structures we also have issues thresholds and user uh, obs assignments and i'm just going for obs assignments okay now i'm just going for next and uh, i'm just going for columns so if you have any like obs count description users you can go for up okay okay if you want to go for filter you can able to go for filter obs level 1 or obs count or anything like that if you want to show grand totals show summaries only you can just go for if you want to filter anything you can able to filter based on our selections now i'm just going for next and uh, we can name the report and then go for next run report print preview this is what the OPS count we have and then the OPS name okay now we will go previous and then we will change it so group and chart we also have show grand total and then show summaries only and I'm just going to apply and then click OK now we will see how it is now we can able to see now it is looking different so that's what we can able to customize everything so these are all the obs description obs count and everything and the users it is not showing as we don't have any users might be because it is like a uh, we have instead of only in this computer if it is like a database you might be having the users also here so if you want you can able to save otherwise you can able to cancel so i'm just going for next it is asking you to save report and uh, directly i'm just going for finish the report has not been saved if you exit without saving your latest changes to this report will be lost would you like to save this report uh, you can go for yes otherwise no i'm just going for no now 